You know the basic difference between Kolkata and other cities, right? Kolkata is in a crisis of wide roads. With its high dependency on public transport systems despite the pandemic, it's in a need of a major redevelopment. Local trains are crowded, buses are crowded, and forget about private vehicles. The narrow streets won't let you drive. And when it comes to the northern suburbs, it crosses all limits. Though Kinesha recently got a metro rail, but dependency on metro is still a dream for lakhs. Commuters of Eastern Railway coming from Dottupukur, Bonga, Hashnabad and Barashat still rely on local trains till Domnam. And then they may interchange to a metro. Shotti, ei durgoti ar boshachena. Trainer badur jhula bhir ar airport er traffic jam. E theke mukti pawa ta mane ki ar bolbo? Solution Barashat Metro. Noapara to Barashat Metro corridor via airport. An 18 km double line metro line that is one of its type. For the first time in the country a railway line is being partially interchanged into a metro rail. Metro trains will run on the same track that was once used by local trains. On the other hand, one of the largest underground metro stations and also India's first underground metro rail yard is being built on this line. In this series, we come up with four episodes. In the first two episodes, we will see the progress of the 7 km phase 1 of this project. between noapara and airport noapara one of the largest metro stations in kolkata four platforms for four tracks and a series of crossovers that interconnect the north south metro corridor with the barashat metro Out of its four platforms, three are already serving trains running between New Gorya and Dukhineshwar. The fourth one, however, has been assigned to Noapara Airport Barashat line. The Noapara Metro station has been designed in such a way that seamless interchange will be possible between the two corridors. From the station, a new double line ramp has been made that bends into the Noapara car shed. The ramp also holds a Y siding for reversing trains of the Barashat line. It connects with the existing test track and unlike now metro trains will be able to depart from the depot climb up this new ramp and access the Noapara metro station directly. The ramp has been almost finished and will immediately be used to feed trains to Dukhineshwar for the time being. Beyond Noapara, three new stations are being built at Domnam Cantonment, Joshor Road, and Airport. Between Domnam Cantonment and Noapara, a 2.65 km viaduct is being built along the railway tracks and the Bagjola Canal. Out of this entire length around 1 km has been partially completed. The metro viaduct runs in close proximity to the Bagjola canal. Launching of girders beside the canal is very slow as compared to other stretches. In a year metro rail gets just 4 to 6 months for launching these girders. Rest of the time the canal flows above the flood level. So movement of heavy trucks and other machineries along the canal is strictly prohibited by the irrigation department. If you peep out of the train while entering Noapara, you will find out that a 35 meter span is yet to be bridged inside the car shed. This is because a portion of the canal inside the car shed had to be diverted to facilitate erection of a pier. Now that previous course of the canal has been closed and diverted. The pier will be erected in its place. Beside the railway tracks at Shubhashnagor, piers are being erected on marshy land. During monsoon season, which hits the city very hard every year, the marshy land is often flooded when the sewage water overflows from Bagjola Canal. This again restricts the movement of machineries along the stretch. So even after being free from encroachment, things are hard for metro. The 
Dom Dom Cantonment Metro Station has been built right beside the railway station. The station has made significant progress so far. Civil and architectural works are nearing completion and bids have been invited for electrification. The metro station has mainly three floors, the plinth, the concourse and the platforms. Although it doesn't provide seamless interchange to Eastern Railway like Dom Dom, an arm of the footover bridge has been extended towards the concourse. The metro station will host one set of ticket counters, six escalators, two lifts and five staircases for the commuters. Although the station has been already completed, southern approach of the viaduct is still yet to be made. This year is very crucial for the construction of this line as a 520 crore allocation has been made for this very short stretch. From the north end of the station, the viaduct makes a sharp turn to enter the dense residential area of Cantonment. A 94 meter portion of the viaduct has been made over the eastern railway tracks consisting of three special spans. Each of these spans consists of four 31.5 meter long composite steel girders. Construction of this portion included the diversion of less used railway track. And because of this, platform number 3 of the Cantonment Railway Station could not be used for 3 years. Few years ago, Eastern Railway used to provide a single line local train service to Kolkata Airport. Soon after commissioning of the service in 2006, it was proved to be a loss making project. Only a handful of commuters were using the service throughout the day. Since both Indian Railways and Kolkata Metro use broad gauge tracks, it was decided to interchange the loss making local train service into a rapid transit system. After sanctioning of the Noapara Airport Barashad Metro project, it was decided to shut the local train service and use the same tracks for running metro trains. As a result, in 2016, the train service was permanently discontinued and Kolkata Metro decided to use 905 meters of single line viaduct to run Barashat bound trains between Dom Dom Cantonment and Joshua Road Metro stations. However, for Noapara bound trains, a new single line viaduct is being constructed. Between Joshua Road and Airport, the metro will be running through tunnels. So, the remaining portion of the old viaduct at airport is being dismantled. Instead of demolishing, the girders that once served the local trains at airport have been carefully pulled down. A safety inspection will now be done to check the health of these girders. The ones that are in good condition will be reused for the metro project between Dom Dom Cantonment and Joshua Road for the new viaduct. This entire integration process is the first of its kind in India. It has helped Kolkata Metro to save hundreds of crores in constructing the new line. In the next episode, we will see how the tunnels of this metro corridor are being built between Joshua Road and Airport. We will also have a tour of India's first underground metro stabling yard. To keep an eye on these metro projects through our lens, please subscribe to our channel and wait for the next episode coming next. Have a nice day.